Welcome to the Vortex, the Time Vortex. This is Strato, Time Lord Strato, here for an episode of Bebo's Tech. I'm currently in the Nether. I'm looking for another Nether Fortress at the moment. Come on, hit your mark. It didn't die. I noticed in the one editor fortress that I had, I had a problem. There's no nether wart in that ender fortress. There's the blaze rod, so I come in this direction to find this other nether fortress that I had not even seen and or frequented before. Right in the face. No, don't step in the lava. No, 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 this is bad. This is real bad. Okay. I'm still alive. Ah! this again just want Build a path across. Oh, and yes, I have a cobalt pickaxe now from Tinker's Construct. please kill that thing please you can just go away diamond no I want to keep Another head. Ooh, an necrotic bone. Ah. 
what's in this chest? Flint and steel, chest plate, and some nether wart. I don't need to continue anymore. That's a dead end. Ow. was definitely different. Why is there just blaze powder right here? Strange. up some space again. Here's a skeleton. <laughs> Baby Pigman, you almost scared the living crap out of me. I'm thinking I'll just take the swords and put them in the Tinker Construct smeltery and melt them down. There's a cross bridge right here. I think... I've done plenty of searching in this place. Random slime ball. I'm just going to find my way back out. I should really pattern my torches. I'm going to head back to the overworld and I'll be back. Well, I got back to the overworld and I started fussing with a few things. I started little bit of a nether wart farm over here with the ender pearls for now so I get extra nether wart now that I have nether warts oh right then one of the things I was working on um I was randomly looking through here going can I make this this data pad I went yes I can make this data pad because I just need a book and inscriber circuit and of course, I've got the inscriber circuit pattern right there, so I can just pull the circuit, come over here, 
I don't even need to do that. I have a book in my inventory. Put that there, and then I had a data pad. Hold shift for details. Whoa! Well, this thing just got interesting. Rogue androids can drop rogue android parts. They consist of four parts, Android Head, Android Arm, Android Leg. He's a process of Android transformation. When the player collects a full set of Android parts and brings them to a mad scientist in a village, the player can be transformed into an Android. Once an, andro Once an Android, the player can wear the parts by putting them in the appropriate slots in the Android station. They will replace the player's default skin parts with the rogue android texture. Pills, no info. Titanium spine, no info. The tools, weapon station, nothing too too fancy. So that's the data pad, huh? I can go in there for now. Let's see. It's crafted. Now I noticed. This is detection task. I'd already completed this one randomly. So I figured I would just get that done. I wish this was just a detect, not a craft. Because if you remember previous previous episodes, I have the molecular inscriber. I don't want to craft another molecular inscriber. I found one. It should be craft slash detect on some of these in case you've already, you know, found. Because I should technically be to this point where I need these two items. But no, I gotta craft a molecular inscriber first. Uh, it's the machine casing. I'm not even gonna make that on cam for you guys because it's like I already have one. I'm like, I don't wanna make one. Was there anything else? It's like, what's funny is this one's complete. That's funny. I will probably make a spot for the mad scientist so I don't lose him. And I have to name him. I already have a name picked out for him, though. But I can name the spawn egg before I spawn him. Let's see. Got the nether vort. I think I got the tin in here right now. It's iron. One, two, three, four. Iron ingot. Cook those up. I emptied out this crafting station. Just because I was really getting annoyed at this crafting station having the junk into it. Let me go see if I can. So first of all, I'm sure you guys want to know what's in these bags. Because I know I do. So let's come over here where if I light stuff on fire it won't be too bad. 
Ooh, pretty. It's a BLT. It's a potential BLT. I'm sure there's more to it. And then I think... Do I have a random loot bag in here too? No, I thought I had a random loot bag. Yeah, earlier I went down to where the Wither murder death scene happened, and I went, you know what, I'm going to look for some redstone over here. Give me those. They can go in there for now. There's four common loot bags. Is there any more loot bags in here? Ooh, some rare loot bags. Some uncommon loot bags. Hold on. Gotta dump some of this extra stuff into the system. I want to keep that arrow. I want to keep that. Uh, you can hold the inscriber for now. You have that, that, and that. Not the furnace. I want the pulverizer. I want that pulverized. So, let's see what we got in these four common. More ender pearls. More coins. More ender pearls. We also got couple of splash potions of weakness, bottle of enchanting, we'll get that out of the way real quick, we'll go through these uncommon loot bags, got a knowledge fragment and an iron sword, a potion of regeneration, that would have been useful, another ender pearl, another bottle of enchanting, Mm, just repeats of what we already have mostly. Ooh, we got a gold apple that round. And we got a discount ring. We got more stuff that we already have. Another ender pearl and an emerald. More coins. More coins. Need more coins for sure. I got pants that round. Well, I apparently got a chest plate that I didn't even notice. At one point. A potion of water breathing. Splash potion of poison. Three more levels of enchant. Three more bottles of enchanting. And that's all the loot bags. Uh, let's grind up these ender pearls as well. Like, why are you grinding up those ender pearls? Well, because I found out something in the last co previously. I mean, I'm gonna have to remake uh, my wireless guy for the system, but. Realize there's a wireless booster. Oh my gosh, that ought to cover a lot. That was in 43 RF a tick. So hopefully when I get that rebuilt, shouldn't take me too long to rebuild that. I'm going to need Ender Pearls. I just realized that for that. But when I do get that rebuilt, I should be able to run around the majority of this place and not have to worry. It's got a little more pull than normal. Uh, the generator downstairs is shut down for now. But that's fine, that's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. 
Said it might be offline, but it's all right. It it got me some more for a little while. I let it run kind of nonstop till I ran out of fuel. Though I think I'm going to try to get. I'm going to try to focus for. Well, I also accidentally lost like all my ores that I'd collected because I tried to ship them upstairs into the to put them into the system, and somehow I was hitting right here. And every th there was no blockage on the green side, only blockage on the yellow side. You know, so that the items coming this direction wouldn't, you know, try to come over here and get spit out or put into the chest over here. Not the green side, I want the yellow side. So yeah, it was just to prevent the yellow side. And for some reason, they were all getting ejected right here and just despawned. So I've been kind of trying to retrieve some, because I had a whole bunch of all kinds of stuff. All of the, It's like I had like stacks of ores. And I lost them all. And the reason why I have the two casings down here is because that's where these two are going to go. So the laser is off because my fuel cells are all depleted for now. But as you can see, it did do a good job at pulling. But it was just pulling at random. I think next time I fire this bad boy up. I'm going to focus the laser. I kind of threw light blue in for now. But I'm going to refocus that laser. I'm not sure which green it is, but I know it's one of the greens. So that I can get a much, much better return for my where I'm gonna focus on probably like using this and refocusing this laser to focus on collecting that or for that guy for the generators right here because if I can I want to generate steady power from a generator I mean I'm generating steady power from these but right now I'm using the majority of it for the laser drills though I'm also using this around as well because I mean it's eating the excess power none of these guys are building buffer my other problem is I'm still loading this system up terribly I can barely barely keep up with all the wood coming in from the tree farm upstairs. What's in here? Cart, coal, more coal. Because I want to I wanna try to automate everything as best I can so that I'm <clears throat> not running around to grab certain things to like then build things. I want to make it all automated where it's just, you know, it's going through the process, it's using a little bit of power, getting some other stuff running power. I will probably make a tes make a tesseract dedicated to transferring power if I decide to set up a fusion reactor. So on and so forth. Yeah, I'm just spending time just trying to recover things for the most part. I've been trying to build the upgraded version of the Iridium Drill from Industrial Craft. You're like, why are you focusing on doing that? Well, because I figured if I can get this, then I can get the Fortune 3 on it. 
and I can just recharge it instead of having to carry a fortune pickaxe around and worrying about the fortune pickaxe breaking. But my problem is I don't have enough reinforced iridium yet. I've got this set up in another table and I've only I can only make one at the moment, but I'm trying to make two more, so I gotta figure out how to get more iridium shards too. Lots of things I have planned. I just figured I'd do that one quick achievement, do a bunch of opening for you. Tell you a little about what I've been up to. Give me that. Give me a stack. My, <clears throat> I am pumping out iron galore right now because the system down the uh, the quadruple ore processing system that's the next floor down is just pumping it out like insane look insane amounts right now uh oh Uh, I didn't expect that to happen. So, since I'm lagging horribly for some odd reason, I was just gonna check, make sure the uh, that this guy was. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this guy is producing the coal. It's going into here, probably. See, back up to 64. I just have it also sending it downstairs if this is full so it doesn't just, you know... It'll tr it'll try to input into here, fill this up with the charcoal, so that I'm running off of charcoal on this blast furnace without a single care in the world. I need to get this guy pumping out the creosote oil somewhere else. And I'm going to be using this guy to create an elevator over here, in this corner. I'm going to turn this, turn part of this corner into an elevator so I can just be like, I'll write him up, and I go click, go down to the floor I want. I'll probably do some sort of like door thing too that'll open only when it's at your level. I really need to do a deep storage for these two items right there because they are going to fill up my system so badly. I was hoping I had like that personal little food station thing where you can set it up and as long as you're within range it like feeds you automatically so I don't have to worry about feeding myself when I'm over here. Uh, 20k apples. Just looking for the uh, rubber. I have pearls in here. Maybe I can use those for what I want. Come on, where are you at, little rubber seedy thingies? Two hundred and thirty thousand. Ugh. 
Yeah, these guys are gonna fill up my ME system like nothing. I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get a deep storage unit for these guys too. That's something I'm gonna have to grow under pearls for. Yay! At least I can steal import buses and export buses if I need to. Speaking of import and import. Come on. Come on. Scroll up. Why are we lagging? We shouldn't be lagging. Make me another one of these. This requires one ender crystal or one ender pearl at this point in time. Nothing there. Didn't think so. Yep, just need one Ender Pearl for that. For the antenna relay, I should have that up and running before too long. For now, though. I do not have my skin. But this is Strato. Time Lord Strato. Signing out. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Bye for now.